Hi, I'm Mark, I look after marketing for Premier Inn. In March this year, we launched a fantastic new campaign for Premier Inn on TV. Welcome to the set. Here's where you find out more about how we do things and what goes on behind the scenes. We're here at Terminal 5 today to film the new commercial for Premier Rim. It's fantastic that we've got the opportunity to come and film here before, just before the site opens, so everything's looking fantastic. And then next week, there's going to be guests staying here. It's opening next Monday, so we're really lucky to be able to use it as part of our shoot uh, because it's empty, doesn't have any guests in here. We can film without disrupting the guests from an operational point of view. It's just really good. I'm here with our Can You Cut It winners, Sheffield City Centre. They're sitting behind me as extras in our new TV advert. This video competition is a great example of getting people working together as a team. I think Fraser did a good job with what we did. I know it was only for a competition, but I think it kind of got put across that everyone is sort of a critic to when they come, because they all want clean rooms and they all want like a welcoming smile when they come. So although it were only done on a small budget, kind of met every single point throughout the hotel. It was natural, you know, it was what you, that's what you get when you come to the Premier Inn. It's not fake, it's not false, it's genuine smiles. And that's what was in the advert. I've been discussing with the other extras how to get into it sort of thing, so you never know. <laughs> They're Hollywood movie stars, seriously. Sign them up. We're staying here. We've been running with the sort of commercials for the last four years, which have done fantastically well for us. And actually, in terms of our brand awareness, has taken the sort of Premier Inn brand to phenomenal levels. And actually, when you ask people about Premier Inn, they say to us £29, Lenny, Purple, which are fantastic brand cues for a brand that is relatively young. We've moved to a really good point very, very quickly. We've built lots of hotels, we get fantastic quality, great teams, good product. Where we want to go with the brand now is actually sort of taking it more to a household status. So when people are researching sort of hotels, they immediately go to Premier Inn. To do that, you need to, I think, start explaining the emotional role of the hotel a bit more. So it's not just what it looks like and, and what it does, but how it feels when you come in. We know that some of our competitors drop their prices to a crazy level. You know, and frankly, the quality of their, their teams and their product, we know we're much better than that. But rather than thinking, let's move down to their level, our idea is, well, let's, let's move it on and just leave them in a place where they can't really follow us in terms of how good our brand is and how good our people are. This commercial is really, it's about exploring the safety, the relief, just the sheer reliability of knowing that when you come back to Premier Inn, regardless if your day's been good, bad, busy, indifferent, you can always rely on a Premier Inn. And actually, it's a beacon in the dark. You know when you pull up that it's somewhere where everything's going to be good. Action! So having a director who could just shoot people as they are and bring out their little quirks and eccentricities and make you warm to them without overplaying it was really key, which is why we got to Kevin Thomas as the director. The thing about this ad, more so than probably any of our other ads, is that we're showing such a variety of guests that are um, arriving. We've got a cast of about 50 or 60 here, and because we've shot scenes with businessmen, with young families, with people having a day out, with couples, what we've actually now got is a, a sort of stock pot that we can assemble different uh, pieces from going forward. So when we have promotional weekends that we think of more of a leaning towards younger couples, or when it's more family orientated or business, we've got the appropriate scene. So, Whilst it means a very, very hectic shooting schedule, what we've now got is a pot of stuff that we can use going forward. We have to be very sort of quick with these little stories. Every, every little scene's got to be a very quick read. So you can't be too subtle. So hence, everyone had to wear footballer scarves, so it shows during a football match. Right, girls, offside rule. My role here is to check everything that we're filming and make sure that our team members are represented in the right way, our restaurant, our bedroom, our reception is all shown in the right way, as you would find, um, and also that our cast members are representative of our guests. One of the things that was critically important to this is that we do team members justice, because we know against the competition, one of the, the greatest strengths that Premier Inn has is its team members. The way people are greeted and the way they're treated here really lifts us apart. So we needed to cast people who were going to reflect you know, the warmth and the friendliness that you get, but also be credible and believable. We're here today to do the brand new Premier Inn commercial, which is completely different to the ones we've done before. These commercials involve characters that aren't me, that are experiencing the Premier Inn vibe within their own space. And then I make a special Harry Lime-like appearance at the end. 
weird looking like this though, doing the premiere of it, because usually I've got hair and no beard. But because I'm doing Comedy of Errors at the National Theatre, I've got to keep my beard like this and I've got to keep my head like this. I did a tour, it was about 70 shows, and there were 20 or so dates where I had to stay overnight. And so I stayed every single night at a premiere inn. And it was fantastic, actually. Because at the end of the day, when you're all done in, you can always rely on a premiere inn. There's lots of details that you notice on set that may not make a difference in the final ad, but the culmination of all those little details actually is what makes everything look as great as it does. So, you know, we've been shooting stuff where there's been glass or mirrors, so you have to pay attention to the reflections. We've had a couple of missing name badges that we've had to sort out, earrings removed from Premier and team members because they were a bit too big, not to brand standard. The bed is the main focus of the room. The bed linen should look pristine, nicely tucked in where it's meant to be. And they're of all appearance. Just nice and gentle. We are about offering our guests a great night's sleep, and that's really what we want to sort of portray within this commercial, is you come to Premier Inn, you get great value, you get a great night's stay, and it's all about being very proud that we deliver a fantastic night's sleep. Music's always really important. It's that swell, emotion starts to come out. We've got a piece in mind now, uh, but it's whether it works with Lenny's Reed and the rhythm of Lenny's Reed and so we'll, we'll, we'll find out soon enough when we put it to an edit then hopefully everyone will go yeah that's the one at the end of the commercial you need to feel like you've just been wrapped up in a nice warm duvet and that like oh that's nice that's, that's really kind of nice and snuggly and that's kind of the, the emotion you want the viewer to get really cut there Here they come, the sleepy ones, the ones who filled their days with fun. You've laughed, you've giggled, sniggered and squealed. You've bagged yourself those killer heels. You shed a tear when they tied the knot. You came up trumps with a big long shot. You've shouted and cheered, screamed and cried. You've been working all day and now you're fried. You're sleepy, dozy, drowsy and shattered. You're tired and weary, you're plum cream crackered. The day's been great, amazing, a blast. But now all you want is a nice hot bath, a snuggly duvet, a big comfy bed, a soft fluffy pillow to rest your head. Because at the end of the day, when you're all done in, you can always rely on a Premier Inn.